welcome to the bottom of my garden. Today I'm going to show you how to turn this beautiful piece of wild Alaska salmon into the most mouth-watering one-pot camping salmon fajitas. Let's crack on. Now I'll be honest, I normally make my fajitas with chicken, but today I really fancy trying out with salmon and I'm in love with the results. So pop a little oil into a hot pan. Add the red onion and sliced peppers and let's sizzle together for a few minutes. You can cook your salmon fillets whole, but they'll cook a little quicker if you dice them into bite-sized pieces first. And by increasing that surfaced area, you'll get a little more of those fajita flavors too. You can certainly use a shop-bought fajita spice mix, but if you fancy making your own blend from spices you've probably already got in your kitchen, I'll leave my recipe linked below. Once you've tossed your salmon round in the spices, add a little more oil to the pan and slide the salmon in. Let it sit for a few moments to get some colour on that first side and then toss it around with the vegetables. Now, I'm going to make a vibrant guacamole to go with it. This is not essential, but your taste buds will be so glad you made the effort. So dice an avocado, add some chopped coriander, tomatoes, red onion and red chilli. Then squeeze over plenty of lime juice. A quick mix and it's ready to go. I'm using sockeye salmon here, but there's actually five different types of salmon found in Alaska. Here in the UK, sockeye salmon is the easiest to source, but apparently Waitrose stocks king salmon at Christmas time, and I'm so looking forward to giving it a try this winter. Now, sustainability in the fishing industry was actually built into the constitution of Alaska when it was formed in the 1950s. It protects the water, the fish stocks, the men and women in the industry, plus the local communities. And every piece of Alaska salmon you buy, whether it's fresh, frozen, smoked or tinned, will be wild and never farmed. Well, I guess that's me signing off for today, folks. Huge thanks once again to Alaska Seafood for inspiring these gorgeous fajitas. Take care friends and I'll catch up with you in the next one.